And welcome back. If you are having trouble finding the right home, maybe it's time to think of other communities that maybe you haven't thought of before on your list. So joining us this morning to talk more about, about it is Eric Ovag from Wisconsin Home Guys with some affordable housing options for you. Hey, Eric. Good morning, Molly. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you too. Great to, oh yes. I see, I see now that you're very much in the holiday spirit. I love it. <laughs> We're working on it. We're, we're getting the spirit up around here. Yes, yeah, so let's talk a little bit about where you are today and, and what you want to say about that house in particular. Well, this is a fantastic location. This is Cudahy, which is uh, one of the best kept secrets, I think, in almost all of Milwaukee County. We're six blocks off of Lake Michigan on a uh, beautiful tree-lined street with uh, pretty little homes uh, that oftentimes get overlooked because people are used to, you know, uh, being attracted to the more, um, I guess you'd say, trendy or cooler cities. Cudahy is one of the more up-and-coming, uh, I guess, real estate opportunities, but also uh, communities to live in. So we're pretty excited about it. Good for you. I love that you highlight these communities and I think it's a wonderful opportunity for buyers. So what was going on with the seller? What was the situation and why did you want to resell this house? This house was not like a stressed out sale. These folks had lived here for about 20 years and they called us up. Actually, I think they called us up after watching our last Morning Blend segment and said, hey, do you guys want to come over and take a look at our house? We bought a house down the road and we're just not so sure that we want to go through the process of fixing it up and bringing it to market. And so these are unique opportunities for us as you know real estate flippers because we're we're trying to figure out we've got to pay the homeowner the most amount of money because the house is in really decent shape. It just has a bunch of work that needs to get done to it still. So when we buy a home like this, we're mindful that we need to pay the seller a really good price. And then we're also mindful of who we want to sell it to and why we want to sell it to, to them for the price that we, that we sell it to them for. In this case, this is your classic do-it-yourself opportunity. So is there work that still needs to be done, Eric? Yes, the previous homeowner did some really cool stuff. They redid the windows. They built a two car detached garage off the back. They did the fascia, the soffits, the gutters. But what they didn't do is they didn't do any of the inside. So like there's the kitchen still needs to get remodeled. The bathroom needs to get up graded. I, we could do the light fixtures and modernize those flooring and hardwood floors, paint. So it's the kind of stuff that really uh, somebody who's looking for their own DIY project can really put their personal touches on. And it's not that expensive to do that work. Um, and, and so when we brought this to market, we were like, who would want to buy this? Why would they want to buy it? And, and what is the best way to market this to attract, uh, I guess, the best buyer for it? So who are you marketing to? Who do you see wanting to buy this home in particular? We get a lot of first time home buyers that want their own DIY project. It's nice to buy a home that's completely renovated, but it's also nice to put some sweat equity into something and be able to say, hey, you know, I have an appreciated value because, you know, I was able to redo the kitchen myself or update the bathroom. Incidentally, the buyer that purchased this home already started going to work on it. He was here yesterday and took the shutters off. He's got a plan for residing it. He's going to redo the hardwood floors. We also find uh, buyers that are uh, middle-aged buyers like myself who might be in an interesting life transition. They might be moving in from out of the area. Uh, they might want a smaller home. Uh, sometimes we have uh, retirees who are looking for less uh, home to live in. And so these are the little gems that you can find on some of these cute little communities that are all over southeastern Wisconsin that oftentimes go overlooked uh, because they just don't get the notoriety that some of the communities such as Wawa Toast or a whitefish bay get. You make such good points there. And I also like the fact that you didn't just go in and change things to make it look kind of like 
whitewashed on the inside. You're allowing someone else to make choices that I think are fun, like maybe cabinets and new flooring and paint colors. So I think that's exciting for someone. I also love the fact that you have a passion for small towns like Cudahy. Why are you so excited about spots like that? There is so many cool towns such as Cudahy that um, were really vibrant towns back during the 60s, 70s, and maybe the early 80s. And then when the economy changed and we lost a lot of those machine shops and, and uh, they moved manufacturing jobs over to China and, and to Mexico, these towns suffered some significant uh, decline in value and in desirability. And it really it really takes like a generation to reset a town. So over the 90s and the early 2000s, communities such as Cudahy, and the mayor here has done a fantastic job, Tom Pavlik, uh, of, of re-identifying the city and, and bringing value to it. These communities are really up and coming. They offer affordable housing, they offer walkable neighborhoods, they offer great schools, they have interesting small businesses, mom and pop restaurants, cool bars, nice little shops to go into. I mean, there's there's some real gems and some real value in some of these, um, I guess you'd say, looked over communities. And that's, that's where our heart and our passion is. I love it, Eric. Thank you so much for joining us today. It was a blast to see that house. Happy holidays to you. Great seeing you. Thank you, Molly. Absolutely. And most people who are in a real estate jam are too shy to ask someone for help. So watch out for your neighbors, your family, your friends, and know that Wisconsin Home Guys won't let you down. Give them a call at 414-420-1559 or go online. Their website is homeguyswi.com.